there are a number of different ways that you can cut out the opening for this window and what I've chosen is a router. I have a straight cutting bit on the router, okay, and it has a guide on it that will guide along the framework for the 2x4. So I'm going to use this to cut that out. Yep, it's on. with a lot more in the background. Then you gotta pull it tight from the end part from the inside. Just don't slice yourself.
Alright, well now we're getting ready to actually wrap the window. James got to climb up to the top. Okay, this has a sticky back that we have to peel this stuff off. And as you go down, you're, you're peeling this back. Okay, now we're going to actually unwrap the window from its protective shipping. Since it's a little windy, where James having to hold it, I just got a couple of just roofing nails just to hold it just for a second, but she's, since it's kind of windy, and I'm going on the inside, and I got some shims, and I'm going to shim this up the level. Okay, I'm just using roofing tacks. And all I lack is the sorry, all I lack is the top. I'm actually using a hammer that's way too big for this. You can stop it. We're putting a second piece. Oh, we're putting a second piece of tape that covers up the nails, and goes right up against here, or prevent any water leak whatsoever. So we've done Jane's side. Now we're going over to my side. You can tell I'm a beginner. I got wrinkles in mine, so he's doing it now. Hey, I need you on that my side. Now you're pulling back the paper. Oh, please, Jane is going to, to approach the window and she's going to open it. Oh boy. Oh she gets to open it. Let's leave it open. Here she goes. Open. Here she goes. Oh, yeah. How smooth is it? How smooth is it? Nice and tight. Alright. Alright, let her back down. Alright, lock her back in place. Okay, now release those switches and see if you can do the window forward. The two switches on both sides should be able to lean the forward the window forward. Well, I guess you do have to disconnect the latches. All right, now try it. Should is the operative word. No. I know they should. But All right, let me come try. Ah! Oh, so what did the you do? The trick is you have to raise it up just slightly. Okay. Uh, and then it does it. But this is why I can sit here and clean this without having to go on the outside. Well, now I can clean our windows at home. Oh, you know what that's for now, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, then drop back down. Make sure this is up. Lock and play. That's too cool. Ta-da! Window in the shed. We would like to thank our good friend that realized he's a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> and he's been giving us windows and doors. <laughs> And it looks fantastic. It now, looks Jay great. was asking about all this, right? <clears throat> this is part of when we get through insulating the walls, whatever wall cover we're going to do. And then we'll take one by fours and one by sixes, and we'll actually uh, do the fence work around this to make it look really, really good. The nail will go straight through across the room, so that's why Jane's going to stay on this side. How'd you do? Oh, perfect. Perfect. 
I would expect no less. I hate to admit it, but my weak point when it comes to tools is a circle saw. And I did not do such a good job on that cut with circle saw. So we decided to do the saw side from the table saw to match up with the factory edge from the previous board. So what we're doing is we're actually getting it set up so that the electrician can now run a cable underground across there and start doing our box, which if we want to, it can be on this wall or it can be on that wall, and then wiring this thing up while we still got stud walls. So that's what we've done. Now, next thing that we're going to be doing is, as I explained to Jane, we're going to make our own little walk board so that we don't have to rent out that scaffolding quite yet. A question comes to mind, and that is, uh, what is Jane doing? Well, she's doing the framework for a walk board that we're going to make that we can span between two step ladders. Uh, we're trying to delay having to rent that scaffolding as long as we can. So we're going to make from scrap material a walk board. She, she's screwing in the supports right now. Yeah, the backyard carpenters are through for the day, but look at what we've built. Let me zoom in on that. They've, we built a walk board. walk board. Sorry, I couldn't remember the name of it. Just out of scrap material. Out of scrap material. We used two by fours and two by, six two by sixes middle. in the middle for support. Three quarter, and three, board. three quarter inch particle board and screwed it all together. So see now the guys can reach all the way up to the top of yeah. the house. Now, when they're working up there. Up here work without having to rent the scaffolding yet. So mm -hmm. I'm happy with it. It feels very steady. That's good. Uh, I only weigh 125 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what we wanted. It's just scrap material. And we screwed it all together. And we had a lot of fun. We were just a little too wide. So we scraped it on the table saw. Cut off a way, couple the screw heads. Saw with inch blade can only cut three inches, so we had to flip it over and cut the other half inch off. <laughs> and did we hit some screws? Oh, maybe. Cut a few heads off. But I'm Van, a backyard carpenter. I'm Jane, backyard carpenter. Baby boomers can do.